Hey friends and family, this is me asleep on Charles's shoulder in San Juan Square. It had been a long day of touring. Welcome to the Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico. Yeah, I was definitely exhausted from the Dominican adventure. But while we were on the dock, we ran back into Riley, Joe, and Christy, who were also on the adventure with us. They're a nice family from St. Augustine, Florida, and they are purveyors of all things pepper hot sauces. Christmas is coming up. Make sure you give Joe a call. So we left the ship and went to the dock where we could meet up with our tour guide for the culinary cocktails and history tour. His name was Elliot and he was a wealth of knowledge on the history of Puerto Rico, architecture, food, people. Elliot started by giving us a tour of Old San Juan Square, including the architecture, and he made it feel like living history. We're very famous for a lot of stuff, okay? And one of the things is music, right? Uh, this guy is known as Catalino Tito Curet Alonso. Okay, but he's an amazing person, uh, a great representative of Puerto Rico and our music, okay? He is the most important composer of salsa. We started walking towards the first stop, which would be uh, the Cortez Choco Bar, followed by El Convento, and then Dea Verdura, and finally, Restaurant Juanes. At each of these stops, we would have drinks and learn the history of the foods being served, and then we would be released to kind of explore San Juan on our own. Cortez Choco Bar was an amazing surprise. Not only do I have an abiding love of chocolate, but this place also had great food. On the second floor is an art gallery and we were able to go around while Elliot told us the history of chocolate in Puerto Rico. Chocolate has become one of the staples of not only the colder months in Puerto Rico, but also it is known as a cure for sadness. While we were there, we were able to eat croquettes with both a chocolate sauce and a vinaigrette sauce so we could get two different flavor profiles. And while we very much enjoyed what we were eating, we had to get on the road for stop number two, which would be El Convento. It is a converted convent and it holds a lot of history of old San Juan. While our tour group dined on the main specialty, ceviche, and a nice rum drink, Elliot took us through the history of the convent and then gave us a tour. High ceilings, traditional paintings, and even some uncovered tile during renovations that no one knew existed. It was beautiful. And I felt like we very much lucked out getting a tour guide that knew so much. But it was on to stop three, Dea Verdura. Once Elliot got us seated and ordered drinks, he began to tell us about the history of foods in Puerto Rico, including the main staples of rice, beans, and pork, chicken, or beef. Delicious. We left totally stuffed, but we still had Restaurant Juanes for flan and mofongo, which is a traditional plantain dish. Afterwards, the tour was finished and we sincerely thanked Elliot for a great time and went off to explore the fort. Charles and I both love history and we were not disappointed with the fort. Once we stepped up and saw the wide views to the ocean and the wide views of the island, 
we realized why it had become such a critical part of defense throughout the years. It was a great day, and we finally ended and headed back to the ship. I was exhausted. And that three-hour tour and all that food is why I ended up asleep on Charles's shoulder in the old square. Thank you.